Hi, my name is Alyssa and I draw lots of Animal Crossing characters. As you may know, I'm on a mission to draw all the Animal Crossing villagers from A to Z and this week's is the letter M. I don't even know when this video is going up, if it's Christmas time or if it's just before New Year's or I don't know when this is going up on my calendar, but I'm leaving the winter background because in most of the United States, it's gonna be still snowy and cold and wintry for a little while. So it's still relevant, okay? <laughs> you guys know the drill, so let's get right into the speed paints. We have a lot of M names to get through. So uh, first up is Mac, and I had never heard of this villager, but I really like his uh, face because a lot of the dog villagers look kind of similar. They have similar kinds of noses and mouth shapes, and this one's a little bit more unique. So I was happy to draw a unique dog instead of almost the same template every time. Madame Rosa I'd never heard of either, and based on her model, I'm assuming she's only from the older games. But it's interesting that she has a full name instead of just one name, like Goldie or Bones, but Madame Rosa is her full name. <laughs> I feel like you must address her as her full name or she'd be offended based on the look of her. Maddie is super cute, and again, she has the same kind of, like, I've been drawing the same kind of snout shape as the other dogs. Uh, she, this is what I mean by, like, this is the normal dog shape versus Mac, who has a more unique uh, shape of nose and mouth but I still think she turned out pretty cute. Mayel I love because um, I love bright garish colors as you should know by now so the red and the yellow color scheme really pops and really appeals to me even though it's like fast food colors I still love red and yellow together I think they're really fun and I wanted to give her kind of a flowy vibe to her she looks like she'd be a cool chick to hang out with so I kind of wanted to reflect that in her pose a little bit when I was drawing her. Maggie the pig. I have a dear friend of mine named Maggie, but I, if I had to give her an animal that she would be, I don't think she'd be a pig. I don't know what I would, what animal I would make my real life friend Maggie. I don't know, but not a pig <laughs> for sure. But in any event, the Maggie, Maggie the pig in Animal Crossing is very cute anyways. Mallory is another cute duck. I, I, I think I'll try in the later half of the alphabet of what I still have to draw because I still have a few major letter categories to draw. I'd like to try some different duck head shapes because they all kind of have that little gumdrop head shape and I'd like to mess it around with it a little bit. Maple is one of my favorites. I think she's a fan favorite as well because she's just so cute. She's got that really soft brown uh, fur color that makes her look very like almost pastel-y with the little pink cheeks and her eyes are really sweet looking and she goes really well in a, in a variety of towns. She matches like the pastel theme a little bit and she matches like the, the natural towns that people make that are more woodsy with the more natural paths and stuff so I feel like she's in a lot of people's dream towns. <laughs> Marcel I had never heard of, but I like his little weird mime clown makeup. I think he's kind of cool that way. Marcy, another kangaroo where I had to figure out what to do with her and her baby. Um, the kangaroos are fun because you get to draw the baby, but they're also a little frustrating because you have to think about what the second head is doing as well. It's not just one character you're designing, it's two. I don't know what that little sketch of a mouse was for at the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just coming up with a... Uh, uh, a pose that integrates the baby and the mom and I wanted this kind of sweet nurturing pose which I think I had done on a previous kangaroo but it worked with that character because they have like a really soft head shape with no real discernible nose so it reminded me of a moomin so I wanted something really sweet and affectionate for that. Marcy another kangaroo I went for a little bit more I think I kept this pose right? I don't remember yeah because they're peppy so I had one leg raised up. So I gave them a more peppy, happy pose. Margie's a really interesting character because uh, she has the really cutesy wootsy, like red and yellow, very carnival circus elephant color palette. And then she's got these really elegant eyes with the winged eyeliner and the nice blue shade. I think it's interesting when the villagers have an actual eye color instead of just like a cartoon eye. There's such a variety in eyes in this game. I think it's because they could have a lot of fun with the eye shapes and the style of the eyes on the models because they didn't have to model anything new because it's, you know, it's a texture that that goes on the head. So there's such a variety in eye shapes and styles in this game that it's really interesting that it runs the gamut from little beady simplified little just pure black dots to like these elegant winged eyeliner eyes. So I think it's interesting that they gave this like circus carnival very you know fun looking elephant they gave her very elegant looking eyes. It makes her a more interesting character design. And apologies if my voice is, uh, is uh, sounding a little rough. Um, I'm recording this the morning of the day I have to go fly out, so I just woke up and I'm recording this last minute, so... Marina is super cute and she goes in a lot of people's pastel towns because of the, you know, the overwhelming amount of pink, but I also think her sweet eyes also contribute to why a lot of people love her. And I had a lot of fun drawing her. I love drawing the tentacles, they're a lot of fun. 
Marshall, the ultimate fan favorite, and of course I had to put him in the thumbnail. I drew him ahead of time because I was trying to do all the art for the thumbnails that I wanted to do ahead of time, so I did M and I, I did the P thumbnail already ahead of time and whatever. So I, I had had Marshall done for a while, which is why he was visible in my um, my video where I was talking about the whole COPPA legislation thing, is I had Marshall in the background. And also he matched the color scheme of I had like clouds on the screen and I was wearing like a cloudy colored shirt and he's kind of cloudy colored, so... But Marshall, the ultimate fan favorite, and he's also one of my fan favorites. He was in my New Leaf town, and I loved him dearly. So I hope he's in New Horizons, and I hope I get to be friends with him again in my new town. And Moss is kind of interesting, because even though he has the same body shape and head shape as um, the rest of the dogs, he looks like he's from the older games, but regardless, he still reads as like a droopy dog type dog to me. I think because of how small and high up his eyes are, it makes his whole face look a little longer, and he looks like a very like droopy dog type of dog. Mathilda, man, there's a lot of kangaroos in the M's. I forgot I drew so many kangaroos for this set of letters, um, or for this letter. Um, yeah, just another kangaroo where I wanted to give this one a little bit of an attitude because she, defi she definitely has an attitude in the reference picture and I thought it was kind of fun. And I didn't know how angry to make her because I didn't want it to read that she was angry at her baby, just angry in general, and her baby happened to be there and also angry. <laughs> They're both really sassy and upset with someone, so yeah, I hope that conveyed the idea and that she doesn't look mad at her baby or anything. Medley is really super cute, and isn't she? She's a she's a Zelda amiibo villager, if I remember right. I believe so, because that name is from Zelda, right? Sorry, I've I've played some Legend of Zelda games. I haven't played all of them, but I'm pretty sure she's a Zelda villager. Regardless, she's really really cute. I love her little jewelry tiara thing at the top of her head and her eyes and stuff. I'm really happy with how she came out in my style, actually. Megumi, another cute dog, and she, though she looks like she's from the older games, if she was a New Leaf, she'd probably be in a lot of people's like pink towns for sure. Because not only is her character design super pink but they gave her a matching outfit i love when the outfit the default outfits actually suit the character you know she's peppy she's pink and she's got this cute pink gingham uh top so i love that melba was fun to draw though i did have a little bit of trouble with melba's body if i remember correctly i ended up just following basically what's in the reference where he's just going for a little jog or something like that but um <laughs> i was going to talk about how koalas are kind of like the recipe for cute in terms of character design especially this one because you got the cute cutesy wootsy little eyes check you've got this big cute nose check you've got these giant fluffy ears check <laughs> the sweet little smile and then the little slightly sad upturned eyebrows like it's just this ultimate like innocent cute look so if you could put all these ingredients in a pot to make like the world's cutest koala these are the things that you would need to create it so I'm pretty happy with how Melba turned out, despite the fact that I had a lot of trouble and ended up, I ended up just relying on the reference pose. I, I remember doing the hand to the mouth and I was like, I've done that pose for so many of the like cutesy wootsy characters. I'm trying to not replicate the same poses. You inevitably do when you draw 470 something and you're trying to keep the look consistent. You'll inevitably repeat poses, but I'm trying my best not to here. So I ended up just using the reference pose because I'm like, I don't think I have a character jogging anytime recently. So meow, meow the space cat goes with uh, bow the space dog. So it'll be cool that... Um, Later on when I get all the villagers done, maybe I'll do a special background just for uh, Mao and Bao. <laughs> Meow and Bao, so they can be like a matching space set on like the same starry background together or something. It'll be fun to manipulate all the villagers and do all these matching sets later on. And Meringue, one of my favorites as well and a fan favorite. I didn't, I don't think I had her in my town. I think I had Renee, another rhino who was like more punky and I think she was snooty and purple because um, I like that personality type more. But uh, Meringue is just so sweet, literally, because she's just a big dessert and food villagers are just the cutest. I don't know why I'm flipping through all the M's here. I think it was, oh, this is when I, I added Molly to the lineup because this is when I was figuring out the whole wiki thing with missing villagers and making sure I wasn't skipping anyone. So I added Molly to the lineup to make sure I wasn't missing any M named villagers. So we almost skipped Molly, folks, but we ended up adding her to the lineup last minute. So no M villagers should be missing in this video. Please let me know if they are. Midge, by the way, super cute. I wanted to mention her. She was on the screen. I'm sorry I didn't say more about you, Midge. Mint is another super cute little squirrel, and I love the squirrels because I love when they walk and their tails just bob up and down. It's just like the cutest little animation cycle in the game, I think. It's a simple little touch. It's like when you walk in the snow and you leave behind boot prints, or you walk on the beach and you don't wear shoes on your character and you leave behind little footprints. It's those little details that make Animal Crossing just like the sweetest game of all time. And I think any Animal Crossing fan will appreciate those those cute little things that just add up to make the game wonderful. So the little squirrel tail bobbing, A plus, 10 out of 10. 
Mira's a fun little bunny and I wanted to give her the same pose as the reference, but I wanted to give her ears a little bit more action and floppiness and fun and movement. So I hope I did her justice. Miranda, another duck with the gumdrop shape head. I like when the characters have hair. It's kind of interesting to me because, you know, I've drawn anthropomorphic animals of all types, and it's always interesting drawing animals that are animals like Zootopia, where it's just a fox head, versus animals that have hair. And I always wonder, it's like, in their universe, does it grow out of their head, or are they just wearing fabulous wigs? And I think for Animal Crossing, they'd be wearing wigs. In, in my mind, the ones that have hair, I think they're all wearing cool wigs. What do you guys think? Do you think it's hair that grows out of their head, or are they wearing wigs? Anyway, Mitzi, another super cute cat. I like the, the the simplification of the Siamese cat face where it's just this like blue circle. I think it's very Animal Crossing to simplify something like that into a, a basic shape and color like that. I think it's a fun way to tackle that kind of design. Moe's another cute little kitty, and I really like his sweet big eyes. I think it really helps balance out his kind of goofy teeth. So it makes him like a sympathetic, cute, and awkward character more than like... Uh, you know, kind of goof, just goofy looking, super goofy looking. And I put one hand behind his head because I want him to look a little like shy or, you know, something like that. I think it suits him. Molly, the one I almost skipped, who's one of the cutest ducks in the game. Um, I love that yellow top. I forget what it's called. There's a name for it, but uh, Maggie the pig and several other really cute villagers wear that top. And I love that buttery yellow color with the little bow. And Molly, I wanted to get just right, so I think I kind of agonize over her head here <laughs> more than I do for any of the other villagers, because I wanted to make sure she was just right. And some of these characters are deceptively simple, like Molly, you think she'd be really easy to draw because she's just two little beady eyes on a head. Like, you have to get the proportions just right, or they look totally off, and it's, it, it's hard to get just right. So anyway, I agonize over Molly the duck's head here quite a bit and make sure it's just right. And the rest of the body kind of, kind of came together pretty naturally, so I was happy with how she turned out. Monique, a very sassy, what is her personality type? She's snooty. Of course she's snooty because I remember her color scheme. I had to bend the, the colors to be a little bit different, but I, the red, see how her ears are super red here? They're purple in my rendition because I'm using the, uh, the limited color palettes, but I almost think the purple suits her better. Like the purple and teal green color scheme, the like Disney villain color scheme really suits the snooty villagers pretty well. So uh, I think the color scheme actually worked in her favor in the end. Now Monty, I'm not sure how he turned out because at first I started with him doing basically the same pose as the reference and then I just changed it to a more like casual walk with his hand out and I like how the hand turned out so I think I'm just going to roll with that pose for the final art. But his personality type is cranky and his character design is really cute and like laid back and lazy looking so I'm not really sure what I'm going for with that pose but he's kind of a confusing character. Now Moose I think turned out super cute. I might have to slow him down to talk about him a little more but <laughs> he's like just flexing and he's got these weird like sideburns going on. He's kind of a weird character, but I think he came out pretty cool. Mott, another lion, and I love drawing the lions. There's not an awful lot of lions in the game, or at least I haven't encountered a whole ton of them yet in the alphabet. Maybe they're all in the last half of the alphabet, but I really like drawing their manes and like their head shapes, and I almost gave him like gorilla arms here where they like they're like thicker, closer to the hand than the elbow, the forearm, but I ended up giving him just regular arms. I wanted to make him look real buff and tough because he's a jock, but he's got little glasses, so he's kind of like, you know, a nerd and a jock combined, which is funny. We just assume everyone with glasses is a nerd, which in my case is absolutely true, but <laughs> lots of people need glasses, not just nerds. Um, Muffy, I think, turned out really cute. She looks kind of like a big cheerleader here, which is kind of fun because her whole body shape looks like one big pom-pom. She's like a goth cheerleader, which I love for her. <laughs> And Murphy, I believe, is the last villager in the lineup for the M's. Uh, that's quite a few M villagers, actually. Um, I'm pretty happy with how he came out, though I did struggle with his pose. I start with this like generic standing, and then I have both hands out, and it didn't really kind of fall into place until I drew his face in. And I love his face, just the, the simple lines for his eyes and eyebrows. I think it's a really fun character design choice. Um, and his smile is kind of smug, so... Um, his personality type is cranky, and so my boyfriend suggested the impatiently, impatiently tapping foot that I add, um, and he looks kind of smug and confident. I feel like he's ready to give you his two cents about some, like, um, recent sports game. He's, he's waiting to get into, like, a discussion about something. He's just waiting his turn for you to finish what you're saying before he lays in, you know? <laughs> At least that's what I imagined in my mind when I was drawing it. So it, with that, I go in and I add all the really rough color that I always do to use as reference for designing the final color artwork when I get to that stage of developing these guys into final pieces. Uh, you guys know the drill at this point. We're well into the alphabet now. It's kind of crazy I'm already at M. 
Wow, we're getting through the alphabet pretty quick here. Though I have to record uh, N, O, P, and all the rest of the letters when I get back from my trip. Uh, I'm leaving for my trip today. I get back in the new year. Just I think I get back on the 7th of January. Not sure, but <laughs> I'll definitely be working on sketches in the interim. So I should have all the sketches done by the time I get back to California, which will be sweet. I can't wait to be done with the sketches because that's kind of the hardest part. The rest of it's just kind of basically tracing what I already drew and laying in color. So with that, that wraps up the rest of the M name villagers. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this speed paint. So that's it for the M name villagers. Who are your favorite villagers this week? I don't have much new to say this week, meaning I'm filming this at the same time as four other videos, so I got nothing for you. If you want some Animal Crossing swag, I got a link to my Redbubble shop in the description below. I have shirts, prints, stickers, tote bags, and more of all 150 plus Animal Crossing villagers I have completed in my full color style so far in this A to Z series. Uh, that Redbubble link is in the description below. If you like the video, give it a like, and if you love videos about Animal Crossing, speed paints, art, illustration, animation, and all that fun stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified i upload new videos every single week thank you guys so much for watching if the christmas season is over the holiday season is over by the time you're seeing this then i hope it was fantastic and if it's just getting underway now i hope it is fantastic and i hope it will be fantastic and in general i just hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day uh bye <laughs>